something you probably won't know is that I have a brother, mainly because I've never really introduced him to YouTube, but say hi, go on. Hi. <laughs> also, something you probably won't know is that I also have a cousin who's a professional footballer. Um, he used to play for Liverpool, um, then went on loan to various different places in Austria last year, but now he's back at Derby and me and Daryl are going down to Derby today to go see their first game, first home game of the season and see what he can do, see if they we, we do well. I reckon Derby playing Wolves, I reckon they're gonna, what do you reckon? I reckon they're gonna win 2-1 today. I reckon they're gonna win 2-1 today. Did you watch the first game? Yeah. What do you reckon? What do you think? I'm gonna go for 2-0. 2-0? Yeah. Andre. Andre's assist. Andre assist, okay. When was the last time he scored the goal? Still that one goal against? Yeah, it's a long time. Still that one goal <laughs> against. <laughs> well, so Andre scored one goal at the tickets over on his career. He's a, he's a defender, by the way, so he's not expected to score goals, but he scored one goal in his career so far, I think. It was in his debut for Liverpool in the in the uh, Euro European Cup. What was it? It was Europe League, wasn't it? Europe League. Yeah. Europe League comes up and scores a bullet header and has done nothing since then. <laughs> Me and Daryl have been waiting for so long for him to, like, you know, just run up and just. Whipping a nice shot, just take a shot. But when he <laughs> when he does shoot, for one it looks like he's scared to shoot, and two, when he does shoot, it goes like ballooning over the bar. So <laughs> who knows? Maybe solid defender though. Ex yeah, exactly. That's that's what the job is though. Solid defender, and um, that's all you can ask for really. But you know, a goal a goal or two wouldn't hurt sometimes, will it? Maybe he'll treat us to one today. We'll see. We'll see. Before the game, he's just solid, solid defender. Made a great goal-saving tackle, which is almost as good as the goal itself. Unfortunately, they didn't score any goals, so it didn't really make a difference. Tough, tough game for all of them. Really. Yeah, yeah so it was difficult. I mean, what, what was what are Wolves expected to do? 
I think, I mean, we've got a few signings. Um, strong team. Yeah. They, they played as a team. They play, yeah, they played very well together. They played they worked hard for it. And they did well to control the game pretty much from start to finish, to be honest. They almost like the home team. Yeah. The beauty of football, though, which I don't have in my sport, unfortunately, is you get, you get another opportunity, like, next week. Actually, even on Tuesday, Derby playing the next game on Tuesday. The thing is, you look at yourself, see how you perform, work on what didn't go so well, yeah. and then, that's it. Exactly. Try again. Try again the next day. Unfortunately, in my sport, when things don't go well for you, that's it. You've, got, <laughs> you've got a few months uh, to sit on that and dwell <laughs> on it, and then you may be going to your next competition. But if, it, if it's something like Worlds, then you've got a, pretty much a full year to, to dwell on your result yeah, exactly. and think, oh, I wish I had done this and wish I had done that. In football, the beauty is you can go next week and, and kind of make up for your mistakes or, or, or do what you didn't do and learn, learn from what you could have done. Maybe I chose but, the wrong sport. No, no, no. <laughs> not at all, not at all. You have, you have the mentality to come back from any mistakes, which is good. Yeah, Some well, footballers' I guess, yeah. careers, sometimes they don't come back from it. So, yeah. that's why you're in the sport you are. I guess being in that sport teaches you. Uh, it teaches you to be like that because you have no other choice. Okay. In football, you can get away with it and people people will make mistakes and you can get away with making a mistake and coming back, but those mistakes happen too frequently, so it just happens and happens and they might not come back for it because it's just happening too often whereas in my sport and like in other sports like gymnastics like uh, ma many olympic sports you don't have a choice but to just deal with your mistakes and learn how to not make mistakes football you can hide yeah sport, you can't yeah individual versus team in it anyway on to the next one then Hopefully. His team got lucky this week. No, no, it's not talking about my team, man. <laughs> Who do you support? Arsenal. Best team going. A couple Almost of signings needed, though. Almost got beat by Leicester. Almost, but didn't. Let's see if my team is Man United. Let's see how Man United can do tomorrow. They play against West Ham. So we'll see how that goes. Come on, Chicharito. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that is our exclusive. Post, post match, um, what do you call it? Analysis. That's the one. That is our exclusive post match analysis. Maybe check back the next time we go to a game, hopefully very soon. We'd like to go see Derby more often, hopefully. Oh, the bad thing is, what was it four, five times, four times I've come in to see Andre every single time they've lost. You haven't, you haven't been on the winning side yet, so I need to. I'll see you. I, <laughs> Maybe I'm the bad luck charm, but hopefully I'll try again. Hopefully next time, next time, let's go <laughs> try and get a win. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see.